And there we see the tail of the tape, and you've got to you've got to think, Bass. Five foot six, at 84 kilos, a very unusual height for this weight division, but he makes it work for him. Brian van Vasberger, that one and one record here at Karate Combat, looking for another fantastic highlight reel knockout. Three three-minute rounds on the clock if they need them. Your referee for this main event tonight is Mr. Mark Goddard. This bout is brought to you by Natural Light. Go ahead and get yourself a natty. Such a gloves. Shaheen Atov measuring the distance. Van Vasberg, a very similar measuring stance. Yeah, don't let Luke fool you with Adamov. I mean, he's a fire, super fast also. Great kicking ability. Yeah, really sitting down into that stance, isn't he? Trying to load up that power. Oh, yeah. Watch out with that kick because you hit the shin bone. Yeah, one, thing you, kick, one yeah. thing you know with Atomov is at some point that overhand right is coming your way and you better either not be there or have your guard up when it does. Weisberger tries to push him into the corner there. Yeah, it's good pick control from the man originally from Belgium. Had some trials and tribulations in training due to some of the restrictions where he's now living. He actually had to then go and get an exemption from the Belgian government to uh, move back home there and train instead of where he's been living in Rotterdam. Yeah, there was a weird, really weird rule, right? You, you, if you were past 27, then you couldn't train. I go, okay, so COVID knows <laughs> to what your age is. What's going on? Yeah, 29 years old for Brian Van Vasberger, 34 years old for Shaheen Atomov. Oh, that was a great kick, you know, oh, and he's doing it back. Yeah, Atomov, uh, originally from Azerbaijan, he's had his, his own problems with training as well, had to kind of train in secret, as the old uh, Russian karate masters used to do before it was legal. Well, he's been even fined for training. Take down. Oh, he's already grabbing the belt, did you see it? Yeah, looking for, he's getting warned for not dirty boxing, so he can frame on the shoulder, but he can't break the posture down with the hand by pulling the head forward. That's too similar to a tie clinch. A lot of respect between these two. That's why... Oh, walked on that punch. Yeah, Van Vasberger yep. connected, Locked and he's trying to throw some short again. shots on the inside there. That was good work from Van Vasberger. I have to see that one back in the replay. Moving into the final minute here of round number one. Lots of feints, that's the overhand right goes to the, the chest. So, which is a smart thing, you know, for the body, because those tall guys, most of the time, like I said before, you know, they pull his head, their head back when you come with an attack, while exposing the body. Oh, and Atomov ducks Locked his front, head down, loses his front. base a little bit there. Well, now's the throw coming. Beautiful yeah. hip toss. Oh, I thought he was going to do an arm bar, it was so weird. That was a huge oh, haragoshi mind. from Shaheen Atomov, you know, when he gets a chance to you know, grab behind that belt. He really gets underneath you, and as he pops his hips up, you're going for a ride. Good shots on the inside again, exchanging those short blows. Final 10 seconds here as Van Vasberger is back against the pit wall here. Oh, and beautiful. It's the sequence we've seen before from Atomov with those short shots. He's doing it back, but it's out of time. That's a, that's a movie title, out of time. I remember. Right? So round number one in the books there. They head back up to their corners. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from those first three minutes. Psych! Boom. That was a good kick because the muscle was relaxed. Boof. That was that right hand walking into it. Yeah, give us your thoughts on... I mean, look at this hip throw, Bass. Very clean Haragoshi. So beautiful. Double uppercut and then he lands the last one. Yeah, he looks at it. We saw it in the sequence that Robin talked about. It was uppercuts and then the right over the top at the end, and he looked for that against Van Vasberger there at the end. So how do you feel cardio's going for Atomov here in the corner, Bass? He's looking a little bit labored, Pat. Yeah, well, we see, you know, it's uh, once you start in, in, including the core, like with takedowns, you know, you're contracting your core the whole time, which stops the breathing for a little bit, interrupts the breathing pattern, and it makes you more tired. That's why wrestling is also so tiring. 
tiring, is it right? It's tiring. It's tiring. Tiring. And Don referee Mark Goddard is just giving Shaheen Asimov a couple of extra bits of warning about yeah. how he can grab the head and how he can control his opponent in those dirty boxing scenarios. Such a gloves were underway. Another three minutes on the round. Asimov opening up first with a low kick. The same kick that he did, and it's very smart because as that leg moves, that means the muscle is relaxed. So you cannot take too many of those calf kicks. It's gonna hurt. And you can walk. Once you can walk, you can't fight. Oh, Van Vasberger looking for a takedown there, but he's a little too high, not able to pick the leg up of Asimov. And Asimov really bullish in how he's he can kick muscling down. forward there. Okay, put him in a full guard, why not? Yeah, tied up in the guard there, trying to use the legs as a form of defense to dictate the range and shut Asimov's ability to strike down. Van Vasberger back to the middle of the pit here. See if he can cut Asimov off in the, off in the corner again, and he does back him up nicely. He's grabbing the, th uh, the, the yeah, belt again. Yeah, could be another throw here. Yep, well, switches it. to nice the outside, outside trip. And that was good work from Asimov. Just off-balanced Van Vasberger. Nothing crazy, nothing high energy, but it did the job. Landed the overhand, but the steam was out of it. Yeah, but we heard the, the impact there, and again, that's a nice short uppercut. Looking for a, a kind of hook axe kick off the off the wall was Van Vasberger as he eats some shots to the body there. That's some oh, great shots connecting. Good right wide hook. Right and another right hook. Yeah, they're not considered down here. Mark Goddard's going to break them up against the wall. Stand up, stand up. You just feel like Asimov, when he when he gets in tight, he wants to turn it into a ball. That's it. Short. And that's what he said in the interview. Finding close, a lot of dirty boxing, go before the body. Boom. Counter with a nice right hand there by Wasberger. Asimov is uh, indeed getting tired, I think. And that's why that right hand might have shook him, but he's returning one of himself. Yeah, and Van Vasberger is pressed back. Oh, and that oh. is going to be called by Mark Goddard. The clean right hand from Atomov did enough damage to sit Van Vasberger down and no intelligent defense. Shaheen Atomov is going to earn the TKO victory here in our second round, a couple of minutes in. And some heavy breaths from our victor, a disappointed Brian Van Vasberger. Let's take a look, Bass, at the finish here. Boom, there's the big right hand. Yeah, yeah, he's dropping. He, he, it looks like he just fell. And that's why Mark Goddard. I suspect that's what Mark Goddard saw here. When that right connected, Van Vasberger was never able to bring his vision back to his opponent. At no point did he re engage with his opponent. He was turned away. And I think that's probably yeah. what Mark Goddard was going to be looking at. And there you see dropped while turning away. Atomov flurrying, as we've seen so many times, up against the wall. Let's head down into pit and make this result official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner by TKO in the red corner, Shaheen Wow. Shaheen Atomov picks up another win here at Karate Combat. He's going to move to 3-1 and one on his record. Van Vasberger dropping to one and two. And Shaheen Atomov is going to go and get a few words pit side with our co-host, Leila Anali. Shaheen, a fast-paced fight from the off. Is that what you expected when you first stepped into the pit today? I know training for you in Azerbaijan was quite difficult due to restrictions there. Um, did you feel that you gave everything that you wanted? Allah sabır versin, başta olur ya, hamlısın, 
derdidir yani bu derd. Beautiful dedication, a brilliant fight. Congratulations, thank you. Robin, a finish we've seen uh, a couple of times before from Shaheen Atabov. Yeah, the finish was sublime, but really, he weaponized aggression and he used the, the pit walls, neither horizontal nor vertical, on the angle, put his man down and was striking him, using the playing surface, taking advantage of the pit. And then, of course, the finish, he weaponized, in this case, aggression, and he weaponized that blitz, attacking and firing over the top, put his man away. Just a beautiful, beautiful finish from a really, really talented career. Jaheen Asimov victorious here, Bas. Let's take a look back at some of the moments from that main event. All right. Boom. That was a big punch down landing from Brian from Wasberger. That was a beautiful takedown, grabbing the belt. A little bit of ground and pound here. Yeah, and this was smart from Asimov. Put him against the pit wall because there's not a down opponent. You can do anything you want. You can still kick him as well, which actually low kicks will be very effective. I think we're going to see that beautiful uppercut there. That landed already. There's the big right hand. And yeah, as you can see, he's not intelligently defending himself anymore. He's looking away, and that's why referee Mark Goddard stopped the action. We are back with KC40, June 24, live from Miami, Florida. A welterweight clash between Samuel Eriksson and Alexandre Budabek. Gabriel Varga versus Edgar Scrivers for the number one contender spot in the lightweight division. First time in karate combat history, we have a belt unification. We have our champion Joshua Craighegan versus the interim champion Rafael Akai. Don't miss KC40, June 24th, Miami, Florida. Thanks for watching, I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.